Hi guys, I did not post anything for a while because I was uh, too busy with another things but uh, now I'm back at uh, this M67 engine and uh, I will keep posting not too often but uh, I will keep posting because I will work on this engine and also uh, on other uh, on other things regarding this old uh, Russian bikes so for this M67 engine I will use this flywheel it, it is not the flywheel from the engine uh, I will use this uh, flywheel because I have these bolts in a very good shape they are perfect also as you can see this flywheel is like new does not have uh, signs of beating from the hammer as you may know many guys sometimes repair these bikes with hammers and you'll see signs of uh, hammer beating and uh, usually this is a sign of uh, bad maintenance or bad repairs uh, but this is not the case with this uh, flywheel we have also the balancing holes made from the factory here it is my writing I put uh, this writing here it means uh, this thread here it has 10 millimeter or one and uh, the thread pitch it is one millimeter in order to know which what bolt to use uh, which uh, type of bolts you will use here when you want to extract the flywheel because some flywheels had uh, has 10 10 uh, millimeter and the thread pitch of one millimeter and uh, other flywheels had 10 millimeter bolts with uh, 1.25 thread uh, pitch thread so it is better to check and also to write here and this way you will know in a, in a second what type of bolt you need here in order to extract the flywheel also we have a good area ceiling in the back you can see there is no sign of pitting so that means we have a, a proper flywheel also I will use this uh, crankshaft I'm using this crankshaft uh, I have it I think six years already and I did not use it until now it is in a perfect shape shape it was disassembled by me it was verified it is like new also I believe this is a this is a, a new crankshaft because it was uh, put in an engine which was repaired by somebody and uh, and the engine still had problems and uh, that guy did not want to, to repair uh, the engine he preferred to buy another engine so it is he disassembled the engine and uh, set the parts and I have uh, about this crankshaft but I did not know exactly if it is good or not it did not have play but uh, you cannot trust uh, a part only by verifying the play you may found uh, dirt inside rust so I have opened the crankshaft I have made a video it is in my list and uh, it was perfect and uh, what I want to do now it is to pair the taper of the crankshaft with the taper of the flywheel so now I'll show how to pair the tapers put a little oil and uh, we will use this uh, grinding compound which is uh, usually for valves but it works just fine also here
changing the position. Okay, I can see some points, but uh, it is not enough in this uh, short pass. I will just have to continue and I will show you the points. One of the points. You see this line? The, here in this area we have a point which is uh, scratching the surface. is this one yes So in this moment I have a good result, as you can see I have the tape already, this matte finish shows that it touches in all the places, in this area it still has a little shiny spots but uh, I think this is uh, because of me and not, not of the taper, because uh, what I have seen working on this, uh, on this job uh, I had a point where the tapers were a matte finish, almost 100%. And I have insisted a, a little, and uh, I'm guessing that uh, you don't have to, to insist too much. As soon as, as you have a good result, you just stop. And uh, maybe this was the reason, but uh, now I have a good result. <coughs> Okay, without effort I'm trying to, to move the crankshaft and it has no play. It is not entirely 100% perfect, but uh, it is uh, almost, almost perfect compared with uh, what we had uh, before, now it is perfect. Also, this was the flywheel and the crankshaft of the engine, the original ones. Okay, you have the play and it can be fooled sometimes if you, if you make like this. Now there is no play and uh, you are tempted 
to believe that you have good tapers, but you don't have good tapers. Now they are just pushed one into another and because of that there is no play. And you will think ah, it is okay. No, it is not okay. That is why I have made this work. In order not to have play when you put the crankshaft inside the inside the flywheel without pressing and hammering just by the weight of the crankshaft and you can see there is no play so now i'm assembling the flywheel on the crankshaft and uh, i will tighten the bolt and i'll leave it until tomorrow and tomorrow i will make another test I want to see how much this uh, flywheel it will be pressed on the on the crankshaft. perfect so this is uh, what uh, I wanted to check if the the tapers are locking one to another but I have felt uh, the first the force on the press and it was just fine okay, exactly like I I have felt on other uh, Another flywheels that were pressed uh, recently. Yes, it is okay. Not perfect, but very good, and uh, also much better than uh, it was before. So now I can assemble the crankshaft into the engine housing and also the flywheel after I will assemble the crankshaft so this job it is done remember on this uh, Russian bikes sometimes you cannot do you cannot do the things uh, perfect but you can compare the result uh, with uh, what you had before the, the work so in this case I have a good flywheel with a good crankshaft with good tapers <laughs> 